Well, first off, I think, I mean, racing once would be nice. Uh, you're going to have to be fast and have some luck on your side. So we initially were just going to go Friday, but, uh, you know, we'll go out and see how time trials go for us and uh, kind of make an evaluation after the heat race. Them two, uh, you know, there's three areas to get points, and them two are uh, pretty important. So um, it's also going to give us a little more track time, and um, we just, you know, hope that we're close out of the box. There's going to be a lot of fast cars. You're going to need some luck, and... Uh, the 20 grand, that, that, that would be awesome to win. Now, during the, a lot of people know that during the off season, uh, you went and switched chassis uh, late last year, actually. You brought out the first modified we'd ever seen from the MB Customs around in this area. Uh, you and Jimmy Mars and Brian Burkhofer and that whole, do, whole deal seem to work out great. It's spreading like wildfire. A lot of other drivers have tried them. A lot of other drivers want those chassis and haven't gotten them, but they're working great. Uh, talk a little bit about how you hooked up with those guys and how that relationship's grown. You know, that actually took place a year ago at the Gopher 50. Um, just had always, you know, kind of wanted to possibly try the late model deal. And, uh, you know, at the same time, he just mentioned that they were also building modifieds. Um, I, I was just, you know, I, whether it was a slump or whatever, um, I wasn't having great success at the time. Figured we'd give it a try. And um, yeah, things have been good with it. We haven't raced the mod a lot. We It seems like we've done a lot of work building cars, putting cars together, fixing cars that get wrecked. And, you know, we don't have, it's not like we raced 60 times this year yet. So it, it's, we've been busy, busy, busy. Um, we've done, you know, more racing here the last couple of weeks. But uh, all in all, um, right now, things look to be rolling pretty decent. Rolling decent's uh, definitely true. Uh, you're coming in here off a pretty good high last weekend. You know, it, uh, yeah, winning the non-qualifiers race, it, it, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I, we missed uh, transferring out of the B's by one spot. Uh, we had some tough heat races and not a lot of experience in the late model. And, um, you know, it was it was a personal goal and it was probably more of a personal win for me. Um, just, you know, with the events that have taken place in the last nine months to um, to maintain focus. And, I mean, anything we accomplished there, um, late model world modified, you know, the, there's a lot of guys out here that, this is all they do. Um, we've been distracted in a big way, so any success that we have, I am personally satisfied with of just being able to run with them and maintain focus. Real quick, tell me about the Hope and Healing Project and how all that's been going. We've been seeing it at racetracks all over the Midwest, and uh, is, uh, is it all coming together like you wanted it to? You know, it is. Um, we just, you know, in some way, shape, or form, after Natalie had her accident, wanted to help other people that have been in the same situation or experiencing the same situation we found uh, faith's house in danbury wisconsin um we're donating every every dime that we make uh, trying to raise money help them out it's nonprofit. Uh, just trying to do something um you know you you hear about these tragedies all the time and you know it unless it happens to you then it really hits home but so you know the people that have experienced what we've experienced they get it we're just trying to help other people